<laughs> here to the few podcast coming at you with another video I recently saw this question posed by an individual they said uh, they recently started dancing in their 30s and they were curious how good can they get this is a great question I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people who started any hobby or activity later in life and they may feel like they missed out because they didn't start at an early age and I want to first off start off with saying that um you know it's never too late it's never too late to start anything in life man um you know I would love to hear from any any individuals who started social dancing later in life man you know how have you dealt with this how have you overcome it um this would be very beneficial to any social dancers who are thinking about getting into the scene but feel like they may be too late to the party, man. Um, I just want to speak on it and give my two cents on it, man. But I want to say that, you know, age means nothing on social dancing. I've seen plenty of older individuals who are killing it on the dance floor, man. So I understand age is not an obstacle, man. Dance does not discriminate, man. With dancing or anything, really, you can get as good as you want. It's just a matter of training and attitude, which is not age restricted. There is no upper limit for how good you can become as a student. It's, it all just depends on you know how you take care of yourself, and and you trying to minimize your physical limitations, man. Um, in my opinion, you know what makes a great dancer great is connection with your partner, playing with the musical timing mixing in you know a few sharp and fast turn patterns and like i said most important man, just, just connecting with your partner man that can make you such a better dancer than the next person who is more concerned with how they look to others and how the dance feels for their partner man so connection with your partner that has nothing to do with your age nothing to do at all man um i want to also add that you know i've seen plenty of 20 year old dancers who are just not good to put it simply just put it bluntly and you know 40 year olds 50 year olds who are just absolutely amazing and that, that may sound obvious you may think you know the 20 year old doesn't have that much time dancing as the 40 year old or the, or the older person man but it just shows you that man you know um experience does come into play you know having that time and putting that work in those cumulative hours of constantly practicing you have an advantage depending no matter where you are at man um so some things that you can focus on man anyone can focus on to help improve their dancing man is movement coordination flexibility balance a little bit of strength training um sense of rhythm and cardio man these are all things that anyone can benefit from and it may become a little bit difficult as you age but if you can keep these things in check and work on them you can be dancing for the rest of your life man uh, so just speak on some of the physical things, man. Um, strength training two to three times a week, of course, is beneficial, man. Having a strong body leads to having a strong mind, man. So that's always beneficial, man. Um, sprints are good for trunk stability, man. And also helps with quick feet and, you know, good for explosive muscle tissue, man. Um, things like jumping rope or, or, or agility ladder, man, great for good feet movement feet coordination man flexibility is super duper important man flexibility mobility man super important man things like stretching and yoga are beneficial something i noticed from a lot of professional dancers is man they're they are professional athletes man they take care of their bodies because their bodies are how you know they're able to perform at a high level man um some other things you want to focus on man you know is training your sense of rhythm Listening to that music genre constantly can be very beneficial, man. Like I said earlier, cardio is, is super beneficial, man. You know, you don't want to get tired by the third or fourth dance, man. <laughs> you know, you want to be able to sustain that energy, man. And when you're tired, you get sloppy, you get bad habits, man. So being in tip-top shape physically is super important, man. Um, also pay attention to you know, what you're eating, man. Super important, man. You want to keep a clean diet. Um, what you put in is, you know, how your body runs, man. So... You know, these are things that are just obvious, man. I'm not trying to turn this into some, uh, 
you know, some personal training video, man. But these are things that are just obvious, man. You take care of your body, man. And as you age, man, you'll you'll see the difference between those who do and those who don't, man. And um, just to add, you know, practice, practice, practice. That's that's the biggest thing, bro. No matter what age you start at practice, how much time you put in is what you get out of it. And these, these things are obvious, man. So I'm not saying that you have to put, you, know, you don't have to commit 10 to 12 hours every week to become just as good as someone who started earlier than you, but just understand that, um, you know, you can commit four hours a week, maybe, maybe less than that, man, but just understand that you're on your own journey and that you can get as good as you want to get, depending on the amount of work you're willing to put in. Um, I really just want to make this quick video, man, keep my thoughts and opinions on this. I would love to hear from you all. Thank you so much.